hello everyone so today we are going to uh, do another improvements to this hand-to-hand -hand combat system so here so previously we were able to perform an execution or finish a move at any time the player like but now we have to do some uh, regular kicks or punches basically some regular attacks until the health level of the character is reduced more than half so when the health level is reduced to a certain value i have added this blinking effect to the character to indicate that now we can perform a finisher move so now we can finish off that character so the same thing happens here so with that kind of a move also the character is not killed uh, we can do any type of attack so now you can see it's blinking and then when i press f character is killed so if i try to do a finisher move by pressing f initially nothing happens because the character is not yet uh, in low health mode okay so let's see how to implement this today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support so this is the project that i worked on uh, hand to hand combat finishers this is the project state at the moment so here uh, we don't really have any limitations like if I want I can directly go into a finisher by pressing F or I can just do kicks or punches or like uh, uppercuts anything so now, okay let me stop them now this is the series wait this is the series i worked on this so and uh, what i want to do is instead of allowing player to do execute a finisher move anytime player wants i'm going to make it like uh, first player has to do some regular attacks like let me disable this music First player has to do some regular punches or kicks and after the enemy's health is reduced to a certain level player should be able to do a finisher execution so how can we do that first let's uh, go to our character blueprints this is player character and this is cinema character so here we are implementing the one interface bpi finishes so here let me open it here we have these functions so here I'll get, I'll add another function. Um, what should I call it? His low health. Right. And this should return a boolean value. Yes or no. Yes means true no means false okay now uh, let's go to the character and here we have uh, when the character get hit we 
play this play this reactions event play reaction montage so this is through these are uh, played when we do a kick or punch to the character so here we have punch victim montage that's what I call them so here let's uh, add some variable let's call hit count or oh, received hit count oh no so, since we use is low health let's just call it health because here we use is low health and initially this must be a float value and the initial value should be let's say 100 and for each hit the character receive that could be a punch or a kick mm. <laughs> let's reduce the health value set health first get health value and subtract some value so if you if we want to have different damage for kicks there and punches we can do a select here sorry select based on this attack type for a punch let's reduce 10 for a kick let's reduce 20 and with regular kicks or punches I'm not going to kill the character so let's clamp this because I'm going to make the character killed only after player perform a finisher move so let's clamp this at 10 in between 10 and 100 right now this function is low health let's implement it here we can use the health value and check if it is less than let's say 50 if the health value is less than 50 we will be able to perform a finisher move and how do we use this again so this side scroller character is the parent character of the enemy character also so therefore whatever the functions that is wanted for the enemy character can be implemented here so here when we press finish first we need to check here all we do is first check if the character is alive then also we need to check is finish is low health that also must be true in order to execute a finisher move otherwise it will not be executed 
let's test it so if I press F nothing happens now let me do few kicks I'm going to press F okay. now we can do the finisher similarly let's try pressing F here see nothing happens do few more kicks and press it now we can kill it okay so the functions are working the next part is to give some visual indication for the player so how can we do that uh, let's take a look at the material This doesn't have any thing special like an emission. Uh, what if we blink the character but how can we do that oh, body color right mm, right uh, here let's add a multiplier Let's promote this to a variable color multiplier. By default, it should be one. Right, then let me apply this. Oh, here let's add a sign input with time and let's add these two together so that we can have some variation or blinking behavior see like this so if I add a multiplier here we can speed up the blinking let's say 2 like that oh wait no not this we have this period if I make it 0.5 it becomes faster right now let me clamp this value in between 0.8 and 1 so the difference would be should be minimum let's try 0.2 Oh wait, no, not add, just directly, not clamp. Let me break this. And put here. Right. So now, here we can add a multiplier right with this one (laughs) 
let's see if I make this multiplier 0 no change would happen if I make the multiplier 0 0.2 some change is happening see like that okay so initially I'll keep this multiplier um, 0 I'll name it blink color multiplier let me copy that right and then in here when the character goes into low health mode that means the health is below uh, 50 so if health is less than 50 mm, set scalar parameter value or oh, not get the mesh the parameter value on materials the parameter name is blink color multiplier parameter value should be let's say 0.5 and this should happen only if this condition is true health is lower than 50 right shall we try this out Is it blink? I'm not sure. Let's make it one. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's keep it one and see if it is visible it is oh. it is visible so why it didn't work let's try again after recompiling the shadows shaders ah. All right, it is working now. Okay, so after the character is dead, or when I perform a finisher move, maybe we should stop the character blinking. And also, this seems a bit too harsh. Let's again try 0.5 that also should work I think yeah it is working alright so to stop blinking we can how can we detect uh, finisher execute finisher victim right here here we can um, copy the same thing and set the blink color multiplier value back to zero okay all right 
okay and that concludes today's session and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available in the patron page for the download but please note that i will not be including those finisher uh, animations because i don't have rights to share those but i will include all the blueprints that and the basic animations that i have added to the project um, thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye